hello guys this model has just dropped around seven minutes ago and looks really cool in this video we will be installing this brand new spanking model glm for 9 billion chat locally and then we will test it out before i do that let me first give a huge shout out to our very good friends at Mast compute who are sponsoring this vm and the gpu which i am going to use for this video if you are looking to rent a GPU, I would highly recommend them. I will drop the link to their website plus a discount coupon which will give you 50% discount on various GPUs which you can rent out and also run and install these models which I am going to show you shortly. So let's see what this model is all about and there are various models in this series like 9 billion chat. Even there is a vision model which I am also going to do a video about. Um, very soon but let's for the purpose of this video let's go with this in glm for build for 9 billion chat this model is the open source version of the latest generation of the pre-trained model in the glm 4 series launched by zifu ai in the evaluation of data sets in semantics mathematics reasoning code and knowledge glm 4 9 billion and its human preference aligned version which is chat version and that is what we are going to install they have shown superior performance beyond Llama 3 8 billion, which is quite a big claim. So let's see how it goes when we test it out. In addition to multi-round conversations, GLM4 9 billion chat also has advanced features such as web browsing, code execution, custom tool calls or function calls, and long text reasoning. It supports up to 120k context, which is quite huge for a 9 billion model. This generation of models has added multi-language support, supporting 26 languages including Japanese, Korean and German. And they have also launched the GLM for 9 billion chat 1 million model that support 1 million context length. And it has around 2 million Chinese characters. How good is that? Also, uh, the vision model which we will be seeing very uh, soon it also possesses dialogue capabilities in both chinese and english at a high resolution in various multimodal evaluations the findings of vision models are also good but we will discuss it later on when we cover the vision model so let's go to the local vm where i'm going to install it let me take you there so this is the one which i'm going to use ubuntu 22.04 and as i mentioned earlier i'm using this one gpu card from mass compute which is nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gpu of vram let me clear the screen also i would highly suggest that you install conda because that keeps everything nice and simple and separate from your local installation so let me create the conda environment first the virtual one with conda create command that shouldn't take too long just press y here and then it should be able to create it now and now let's activate the conda environment and you will see that in parentheses let me clear the screen next up let's first install torch and then transformers library let's wait for them to get installed both the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and now let me fire up my python interpreter okay let's import the torch and transformers library that is done and as i am using cuda gpu from nvidia so i'm just setting the device to cuda let's grab our tokenizer and i'm just simply using that auto tokenizer um with the tokenizer model's name and it was fairly quick the tokenizer i mean let's give it a prompt let's use a simple one just to see how it works and then we will play around more around it let me uh, apply a chat template to this so it is a very usual chat template where we are just specifying the role of user content is security this is our prompt and we are specifying the tokenizer so this is going to convert our text into numerical representations or the tokens in simple words let's Put this input to the CUDA device that is done and now let's specify our model and again we are simply using the auto model for causal lm the one which we imported from the transformers library that is going to download the model 
and it has started downloading the model there are 10 shards it seems uh, i'm not sure how big this model is so it seems like the they are just under 2 gig each so let's wait for this model to download and hopefully it will fit on my gpu it's a 9 billion one so i will just wait for all of this to download thankfully the download speed is quite fine today which is really good so last shard is being downloaded it was fairly quick hopefully it will fit on my gpu if you if it won't it will give you error at this point that out of memory but it got fit on my 48 gb vram gpu that is great and now let's also specify some of the inference parameter where i'm just saying that okay the max length is 250 of the output provided sampling is true and top k probability is this okay now let me get the output from the model and there you go so for the hello response model has said hello i am chat glm the ai assistant nice to meet you feel free to ask any question so let's try to ask it a couple of questions so let me clear the screen and then we will ask it few of the serious questions so first up i am asking it a seemingly easy question that write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty but most of the models have failed to answer that so let me see if it this one is able to answer it let me pass it through the pipeline which we have created let's wait for the model to come back it is generating the response there you go so let's see if first one you see it doesn't end with beauty second one doesn't end with third no fourth one is correct Wait, sorry third one is also correct it ends with beauty and then fourth is good fifth is good no yes yes no no you see uh, i don't know why but most of the models fail that including this glm for 9 billion okay so that is fine let's ask it a math question let me clear the screen and i'm going to ask it a math question now so you see in the math question i'm simply asking this equation here the answer is 20 so let's see if model is able to detect it correctly or not let's wait for it to come back there you go so that math one is correct that is correct let's clear the screen let's ask it a coding question now in this coding question i'm asking it to write a ruby script that reads an array of integers and print the sum of all positive numbers so let's see how model goes with the code generation so there you go it has generated the code looks good to me the best thing is that it has defined this function which is awesome and then it has given us example usage also how to call it and then a little synopsis of the code amazing stuff you see at the end really good okay so let's clear it coding is also fine let's ask it to translate this one like i love you in german korean and japanese let's see how the model goes with this there you go so german is this korean is this looks awesome to me you see the speed is also good the multilingual is also awesome so, so far very very impressed by the model let's clear the screen let me ask it a reasoning question now in this reasoning question i'm asking the model that if we lay five shirts out in the sun and it takes four hours to dry how long would 20 shirts take to dry explain your reasoning step by step so let's see how model reasons about it there is your response let's scroll up it says to determine how long it would take to dry 20 shirts we need to consider the relationship between the number of shirts and the time it takes to dry them let's break it down identify the relationship understand the given info set up the proportion and then it is doing some sort of calculations here some fractions and stuff wow it says so it would take 16 hours to dry 20 shirts under the same condition that five sh shirts take four hours to dry so well i would leave you to be the judge of it but so far the thing which i'm really um impressed about is the way it has broken it down into pieces and then reasoned about it how impressive that is so that is what i think i really like the model so we have tested it on, on various benchmarks so far so far so good 
i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching